Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Thank you, Chris Scott. We move on to the big boys, although not sure I can call him a big boy anymore. He's half the man he used to be, Tom Little. And uh, I think just a sign of how important and how good this fight is going to be on Saturday night. Alan the Savage Babich against Tom Little in the heavyweight division. I'm going to start with you, Tom. Jokes aside, shocked a lot of people this week just seeing you. Um, I've heard you over the last four or five fights tell me you were going to do the business. You knew deep down you weren't really in shape. Yeah. And looking into your eyes and listening to you earlier, I believe you believe it this time. You're ready to change your life, change your career on Saturday night. Do you know what it is? I had a massive epiphany out in um, Saudi when I got back home. And this runs a lot deeper than just, me, just myself. And it's not that for the fact of what I want to do here, this is the first step, step on the way. And I, I'm hungry. I've made sure that I've not left no stone unturned. And I don't expect anybody to believe me words because, like you said, and I've, I've said a lot of cheap ones, but they were masking agents. I'm going to keep quiet, get me work done. And listen, everybody join, join in on a Saturday and work, what, watch me do what, what I know I'm capable of doing. There has been still people talk about the question marks over Alan Babich, but every time he has stepped up to a level, although he made such easy work of Sean Dell Winters, you know, Winters had some good wins, done okay against Joseph Parker, Niall Kennedy, you know, he breezed through these guys. Do you rate Alan Babich as a heavyweight? And you have boxed some good ones. I mean, Philip Hergovic, Daniel Dubois, Majidov, you've been right in at the deep end. I, I rate, rate him highly. And you can't give the man nothing but respect. Whatever's put in front of him, he's blow, blowed away. This ain't about how I rate him. The one thing I will say here, and I say this now, if he can manage to get the job done, he's fighting a better me than Philip fought. He's fighting a better me, me than Majidov fought. He's fighting the best me available. Listen, me and this man here, we promised everybody a wall. We promised everyone blood, blood and guts. La laugh and jokes are all, all, all gone. It's five week now. This is seri serious time. We're going to go out, we're going to deliver everything that we prom promised to do, and that is blood, snot, and guts. Blood, snot, and guts. Is that your version of blood, sweat, and tears? No, that's my version of pain and war. Good, good. People talk about Alan Babich coming in light. Is it important not to give away ground in the ring? Have you seen him consistently walk people down and back them up on the ropes? Obviously not giving your game plan away, but you, you um, are the bigger man in there. Uh, listen, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not gonna run nowhere. I, like I said, I'm a man of my word, and I will meet him in the middle, and we, listen, I can stand with someone, it don't mean I gotta be, I didn't promise that I'm gonna get hit by him. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not giving no ground. I'm there for, for, for war and to get the job done. And I want that knockout bonus. There's a lot of people finally who have been messaging me this week, people in boxing saying, have you seen Tom Little? I fancy him, you know, not in that way, but just in the fight. And I believe your odds with, with, our, sponsor, with our official sponsor, William Hill, Gamble Responsibly, have been uh, cut down considerably, I think nine to one into sixes. A lot of people think you can do this on Saturday night. Listen, and I thank them very much for backing me and supporting me. And listen, I will pay for your Christmas. Do not worry about that. Lump on bet hard, but when the fun stops, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Wise words, wise words. Alan, Savage, different look from you this time. You look, you look smart, you look all business and ready to go. I think you know this is, this is a real test, maybe the biggest one of your career so far. Thank you, everybody. This is just my way to show respect. You know, I, I look at Metro as my family now. You know, they did me a happy birthday, they bring me a cake. You know, so they touched me, I like that kind of stuff. So this is my way to show all the respect. And for this fight, I don't think it's going to be my biggest test, you know. And uh, listen, Savage is mad, you know. Savage is not happy for Tom Little because I've been his friend for three months, you know, when he was fat as a donut. I've been messaging him, 
And now he said something like, I'm going to finish him, and then I'm going to say Hergovic is better. Well, why, why does he have to keep saying that, you know? Everybody keep doubting me every step of the way, you know? And I've had it. I've had enough, you know? I just keep knocking everybody out in two rounds. What, what should I do next, you know? I'm going to knock him out in one round, you know, because I don't care about that. I just, just like that, you know, I'm an emotional guy, like I said. And they just keep questioning me. Guys, is that, guys, is that the plan? One round? You want to finish this in round, one round? Yeah, that's my fucking plan, you know, and I don't, I don't care anymore. Because everybody keeps questioning me. They keep, he, he talks all the week, like he's going to kill me in one round. Who, who, why do you think to talk like that, you know? I said nothing but nice things to you. And now you take Hrgovic aside. That's a sellout, brother. You can't be in the Savage Army anymore. No, you didn't pass. So, yeah, I'm going to do the job. I'm going to do the job pretty fast because I'm mad. Savage is mad, brother. That is true. A lot of people still question you. I mean, you know... Everybody, I, I, you are questioning me, Eddie. Well, yeah, I do. Everybody I mean, right now, I've got to be honest, I'm definitely not questioning you because I'm petrified. But um, <laughs> I, I would say that you are finishing these opponents in great style and quicker than other people have done it. I mean, the Shondell Winters fight, you know, people forget that he went deeper with Joseph Parker, had success in that fight, you know, had a very big win against an unbeaten Russian fighter as well. So for, for you, do you feel that way? You don't feel like you're getting the credit? You don't feel like you're getting the respect? Well, listen, I feel there's a lot of disrespect, you know, because I only, I'm only here to, to entertain you, you know, and I do everything everybody wants, and still they question me every single way. They always talk Hrgovic, uh, Hrgovic. I don't fucking care about Hrgovic, you know. He didn't fight nobody. He, he fought body bags. I fight everybody the fans want me to see. They told me Tom Little. I spoke to him. Let us fight, you know. We, we talked for three months. And now, now on the fight week, you know, like I'm nowhere, like I'm nothing, you know. Like I, I, I need to go through that all the time. And again, about my weight. Listen, I'm 102 kilos when I entered the, 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 the bubble. Now on 96, the savage doesn't want that weight. I don't fucking care about the weight. You know, stop questioning about the weight. You know, I'm going to be the smallest heavyweight in the whole world if I want to be. You know, I just want people to accept that. You know, and there's a lot of doubt. You know, I don't like it. Tom Little is quite a likable guy, but you seem to be switched on into full savage mode now. I love Tom Little. Alan loves Tom Little. No, savage, savage, does. savage fucking hates him, you know, because he talks against Savage. But Alan loves him. He's very like Look at him. He's smiling right now. You know, he's a nice guy, but I'm going to get the job done because he talks about Hergovic. I like Hergovic, you know. He knows what he needs to say to tick me off. And if you do, you, you want the savage. You have I like the savage. both of you. No, like, I'm no, not, I'm, 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 no, I'm no, like no, both of no. you. You don't love the savage, brother. You don't know it. I you just, didn't show me respect, not even single. I, ask, listen, ask every of these guys. I gave interviews. I said, no, Tom is a great guy. You know, he's not going to disrespect me. I said it to everyone. You disrespect me the whole time. I just I've saw it. I never disrespect you. You disrespect the whole time. It's a fight time. job, boy. What's up with you? Listen, we're going to have a fight. That's it. Done. I, I ain't going to say that I'm going to come and tickle your chin, am I? I'm going to say, listen, if I don't believe I'm going to beat you, it's pointless me sitting here, isn't it? No? You should believe that, but you didn't say it like that. You no, said, like, oh, I'm going to beat him. Well, before listen, I believe I'm going to beat you, and I don't believe... He believes he's going to try and take you out inside a round. I know, I, listen, I know what he's coming for. You wanted the savage, the savage is here, brother. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big man, it. he might run onto one, might he? He might, he might fall over. Be careful what you want. You wanted to meet the savage. Savage is here. Listen, yeah, I'm, and I don't care. Everybody can laugh. I'm the savage. You're messing with a six-foot-six gypopotamus. Okay. I like, know that. I'm coming I said, for I know war. That. I won't be running nowhere. I Me said, and I know get that, bing, brother. bang, smack, smack, smack into But it. listen, I have five knockouts in ten rounds. You didn't win a fight in three years. You shouldn't be talking like that. You should show me some respect. If I lost for three years consecutively, I would, I would not talk like that, brother. I would not. Listen. You didn't give me a 1% of that respect you talked about in the messages. 1%. I, I just will. heard every single interview of yours. It's all shit. I will worry you know? about respect after the fight is all done. At the time, you can't respect a man while unless, you're sitting Unless, punching lumps after up. I beat you, unless you apologize, we're not going to be friends. I'm telling you right now, because you're not good, brother. You're a sellout. You're friends. I was, I didn't, is it true? Didn't I talk to you? Listen, Hergovic said you're a bum 10 times, and you were taking his side. I'm not taking no sides. <laughs> yes, Listen, what you, are, you two brother. decide to yes, do is down brother. to you yeah, two, look at this. Listen, Don't be a I, sellout, bro. Listen, I'm not here if to If you're talk my about friend, her, you're my friend for life. me and you. Listen, to the point is, I ain't here to talk about Filip Ergovic. Filip Ergovic on his own journey. He, listen, what I'm saying is... You said it five I fought, times. If I, fought, if I fought that you were a Filip Ergovic, well, nobody knows how good you are. Nobody knows how good you are. I'm here to find out how good you are. I know how good Filip Ergovic is because he hit me and splat me from one side of the ring to the other. So 
that, that's the top and bottom of that. Listen, me and you are going to fight, like, I'm, like I just said to Eddie, if you can manage to get the job done, which, listen, I had to tell you, my bruv, I really don't think, think you will, right? Because, listen, you're fighting a better me than Philip and all the, all the rest of them ever fought for Brother, together. listen, listen you, did, you did a bit fair, of... Listen, I could can I talk now, please? About you, Philip, or the not. I'm here to do damage. I'm here to do war. I couldn't, yeah, okay, get, I couldn't yeah, yeah. care about That's no what everybody Listen, said. I'm ready to fight. Today, tomorrow, whenever, however, whatever it Listen, goes. Listen, brother, you did some I crossfit and you think you're a boxer no now. Man. Listen, I fight for 10 years. I'm in fight shape my whole life. You did some crossfit in the last one month and you talk like you're the biggest arm, the small. Why do you talk like that? What is that? Where is that coming from? It's your insecurity. Because I'm ready to fight. That's where that's Yeah, but you trained for one month. I trained for 10 years. In every single day of the 10 years, I would beat you. Every so single day. That's pretty bad. If it, that's pretty bad. If I've only trained for a month and you've trained for 10 years and I've still beat you. Uh, yeah, but I've trained for 10 years. Yeah. Alan, a lot of people want to see you go deep in a fight. Is this the fight to take you deep? I seriously doubt it, but I, I would love it. I would love it if Top could get me deep. You know, if he could get to be in back, like, like one month back, he was better than he was fat. I like him more. You now he was talking about far, about war, about something. And now he's talking just like, oh no, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna, like I'm nothing. You know, he doesn't give me respect. I have five fights, I have 10 rounds in that five fights. I fought guys that are better than you fought. You know, everybody beat you, everybody beat you, brother. You said, I fought this, this, you lost to everybody. Why do you talk like that? Why are you such a loud mouth? But listen, don't worry about who, who's beat me. Just, just worry about you Yes, I me. do worry because you talk shit. Don't you worry, you listen, shouldn't, you shouldn't listen, be talking like that. You, we'll see what the shit talk is and what the shit talk ain't. Tom of Savage, course, Savage see. says one round, two rounds, that's the, that's the aim. Can you take him out? Do you believe you listen, can knock Alan I don't believe out? this. I don't believe this sees the distance, whatever way it goes. Listen, I'm a, I'm a realist. Both of us are going in there to really hurt one another. This fight ain't, ain't going to last eight rounds. Whatever way it goes, one of us is going to catch one another. And that's it. I wouldn't be surprised if both of us have to climb off, of, off the canvas at some point. But one thing I can guarantee you, and I'm not looking for whether I have to climb through the pits of hell, I'm here for nothing less than victory. And that is it. That is it. Listen, I don't hold, I don't hold hate in my heart for, no, for nobody. But I'll tell you one thing I don't do either. I don't fear no man. I don't, I've, I've never, what's, I've never been, there's not a cowardly bone in my body. Listen, I won't be looking for that canvas. I won't, I'll, be, I'll be up on my feet. All the time I've got a beating heart in my chest, I'm there to fight, I'm there to bleed, and I'm there to win. And that's it. Listen, Whether Eddie, I come short did, or not. Did Neil Kennedy say exactly that? Did Neil Kennedy say, did Chandel Winter say exactly that? Listen, what Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan to get punched in the face. Everybody said that. Everybody said that you're going to outbox me. Nobody did it. You know, I would like him to try. He's not going to even try. He's going to be on his back foot from the f second one. I know it, brother. I spar Olympians every day. You don't have that kind of team. My coach is Olympic coach. You don't have that kind of team behind. It's mathematics. It's simple. You know, so don't talk big. Don't talk that big. Talking shit about him the whole week for nothing. I didn't say one bad word about you. Well, one bad word. Said about you. Well, yes, you did. Well, yeah, yes, you did. I just listened to it. And my, my well, press in my country is killing me because you say something they own. Take it, you know, they, they, they won't even air my fight. My mother can't watch my, my fight. Everybody's against me, you know. Now when? So is he a giant? Is he a giant, Eddie? Is he a giant? I want to kill giant. Is he a giant? Will you say, okay, Alan, we're not going to talk about your weight anymore. I'm fucking sick of it. You know, I'm going to be 80 kilos next to that, you know. Give me someone bigger next time. Okay, well, firstly, you've got to get past Saturday night. Alan, the savage Babbage against Tom Little in the ring around 8.30 p.m. Saturday night, Sky Sports, The Zone. Do not miss it. Gentlemen, a head-to-head -head here, please. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. 
DebtKO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.